Hey everyone and welcome to the Need to Know. Today we are uh, going to be going over a very basic DC drive. Uh, the drive we're looking at is a KB Electronics drive. It's Pena Drive is the name of it. And it has a 115 or 230 volt AC input and it puts out 90 volts DC or 180 volts DC depending on the motor you're trying to run. Um, here are the motors. This is the one I'm actually hooked up to. These are identical motors, uh, Baldor CD 30, uh, CDP 3310s, I believe. And if you look right here, you can see the nameplate on this one. So, uh, CDP 3310, you got a uh, quarter horse, RPM is 1750, uh, the enclosure is a TNV 56C frame, which is the, uh, you know, the how it's uh, how you can mount to it or what kind of frame it's actually got on it we'll go over all that as far as uh, motor plates on another video though um, but for this one that's the motor we're using and uh, up here I'm not gonna be using the forward and reverse switch because I've already got I've already got it wired through a um, through a uh, contactor so um, you know forward reverse contactor uh, forward and reverse so um, that's what we're going to be actually using to control the motor's uh, direction. Let me go ahead and power it on. <clears throat> so got your on light. And um, I'm going to show you the inside of the drive. So you can see the guts, see what it's made of. Oops. Um, at the top here. You've got several potentiometers. Uh, the ones, the basic ones are the jog, max, min, excel, and decel, a cell and decel. So this is going to be your uh, your main control, what you're going to be using the most. Your uh, max, your top speed. That it'll the you set this to to set the maximum speed it it can go, and also the minimum. So you, if you want a range, and it's not the slowest and the fastest. If you want a certain range, it can operate in. Um, that's what the uh, potentiometer on the front will uh, the boundaries for it basically uh, you can also set the jog speed whenever you jog it how fast or slow do you want it to go your A cell and D cell time uh, are basically your uh, the time it takes to get from zero to your minimum or maximum settings uh, you know or how fast it's gonna speed up and how fast it's gonna slow down how, um, based on your potentiometers up top you also have several dip switches on here. Um, you can set this thing up for uh, different size motors also. That's what the dip switches on the left are for. Uh, the other ones I'm not sure, but that I just left them at factory default. Usually that's what they are. There's a uh, fuse right here. This is your armature fuse. So anytime you have some kind of big, real big overcurrent or, or a load on it, it's going to blow that fuse and protect the drive which I've replaced several times in these drives and it's a very nice nice feature most drives have that though um, right here are the terminals on the bottom um, you've got your uh, L1 and L2 your 120 volts coming in and on this side we have our A1 and A2 our DC 90 volts DC output so let me close that back up So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the uh, motor in one direction. So right now we're operating at, appears to be around 63 on the pot. It's going pretty fast. Uh, top speed is 1750 for that motor like, uh, like we saw on the plate. So um, a lot of uh, a lot of machines, you'll have a motor with a gear on it like this, and um, even though it may be turning a chain, you'll they'll stick a sensor on here and actually sense the uh, the teeth of the gear for maybe a measurement reading or you know how much uh, yardage or or whatever you're trying to really read or just to trigger an event. So. 
after so many uh, maybe after so many teeth it counts in a PLC or something like that. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and run it in reverse. Bring the pot down. You see, it kind of hesitates a little bit when you're changing speed for the uh, electronics to really catch up and let it slow down. Then it turns back on uh, once it needs to speed up to that uh, that setting. So it's not the most accurate as far as control, but usually you would use this in an application where you're just running one speed. You tell it to go and it goes. You know, you send power to it, and whatever direction you have it in. That's the way it's going to go. Uh, that's how we used it. We uh, this switch is usually bypassed. The start and st stop switch at the bottom is, and uh, you can select your um, your uh, rotation with the forward and reverse still. But yeah, this thing gets up pretty fast. It's a 90 volt motor. Um, I'm not sure exactly what RPM it's actually running at, but it's rated for 1750. And um, I guess it'd be good to kind of see the um, see what you'll you're gonna see with your meter when you're actually checking the voltage on it. Right here we've got our 120 coming in. 20.6 looking good. And um, as far as output, right now it's saying 24. Switch it to DC. So it's actually saying 113 right now. Like I said, I've got it going through these contactors up top. So the drive is putting out, but since I've got it going through the contactor side, it's not actually letting it get to the motor. So, turn it. See, even though it's a 90 volt output, you can actually bring this thing up pretty high, well over 90 volts. So, uh, that's why I say I'm not really sure about the speed. I don't really have a tach uh, tachometer on me right now, but it's 117 volts right there. direction see a spike at the beginning but yeah around 117 is what you're going to get out of it I'm not even really sure what the setting is on I haven't really messed with this thing in a while yeah it's definitely pegged out though so we're getting 100, 106 right now DC output from the drive Something else we can check right now is the amperage that the uh, motor is going to be pulling. So, got your clamp meter, got it on DC amps. This thing's uh, definitely put some wear on this meter. I'm going to go ahead and clamp one of the legs. So we're pulling about a half an amp right now, which is pretty normal. There's no load on it. So any drive you come across is it's got to have the basics. It's got to have a method of control. It's got to have an output, of course. Um, Right now it's using a potentiometer as reference for the control. So whatever the potentiometer is set at, that's how fast this drive is going to tell it to go. <clears throat> other, um, other drives, uh, maybe the more complex and 
the bigger drives you're going to see out there in the field are uh, they might use a 4 to 20 milliamp uh, input or maybe a 0 to 10 volt uh, DC or 0 to 10 volt uh, um, voltage you know just uh, input it could be a negative uh, negative 10 to positive 10 volts uh, input you know basically just uh, setting the speed on the drive um, so there's a lot of different ways to control and that uh, drives use to uh, control motors and you're definitely gonna run into some pretty complex stuff out there but this is as far as the basics this is as simple as it gets right here so you got your input, 120 input, your 90 volt DC output, you got your reference, and you're telling it which direction to go. So it's got to know which way to go. A lot of drives, um, a lot of drives are going to be all digital. So like I said, you're going to have your 0 to 10 volt uh, input as far as how fast you want it to go, reference. Or it could be on a pod also. And it's going to have maybe just a... Um, 24 volts going to a terminal to tell it enable, then 24 volts going to a forward or terminal, or 24 volts going to a reverse terminal. So that's the kind of stuff you're going to see out there. And uh, I'm definitely going to put some more videos on here of more complex drives and some more stuff. So I guess to keep uh, looking out, and hopefully uh, we can get everybody on the same same track. But I hope you've had a good uh, experience with the video, and y'all have a good night. Thanks.